Losing your hair? You're not alone. Hair loss is tough. It can make you feel self-conscious and affect your confidence. You're constantly checking the mirror, worried about a receding hairline or thinning on top. But here's the thing, you're not alone. Millions of people struggle with hair loss and there are solutions out there. One of the most talked about solutions is finasteride. This little pill has gained a lot of attention for its potential to stop hair loss and even regrow hair. But does it really work? Let's dive in and find out. So, what exactly is finasteride? It's a medication that was initially developed to treat enlarged prostate glands in men. However, researchers soon discovered an interesting side effect. Men taking finasteride were experiencing hair growth. This unexpected discovery led to further research and finasteride was eventually approved by the FDA for treating male pattern baldness. It's important to note that finasteride is typically used for long-term treatment, meaning you'll need to take it consistently to see results. Now, you might be wondering, how does this tiny pill have such a big impact on hair growth? To understand that, we need to delve into the science behind it all. To grasp how finasteride works, we need to understand a bit about dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. This hormone is a major culprit in male pattern baldness. It shrinks hair follicles, making it harder for healthy hair to grow. Here's where finasteride comes in. It acts as a DHT blocker. By inhibiting an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, finasteride effectively reduces the amount of DHT in your system. With less DHT around, hair follicles can recover and hair loss can slow down or even reverse. But is there actual evidence to support these claims? Let's move on to the research and real-life experiences that shed light on finasteride's effectiveness. Numerous studies have investigated the effectiveness of finasteride for hair loss. These studies have consistently shown promising results. For instance, one large-scale study found that finasteride significantly increased hair count and improved hair growth in a majority of men. But it's not just about the numbers. Countless men have shared their positive experiences with finasteride. They've reported seeing a noticeable difference in their hair density, thickness and overall appearance. Some men even claim to have regrown hair in areas where they had previously experienced thinning. While these success stories are encouraging, it's essential to be aware that finasteride is not a miracle cure. It doesn't work for everyone, and there are potential side effects to consider. The catch side effects and what you should know about finasteride. Like any medication, Finasteride can cause side effects in some individuals. It's important to be informed. The good news is that most side effects are mild and tend to subside over time. This means that many people can continue their treatment without major issues. However, it's crucial to be aware of the potential risks. Understanding these risks can help you make an informed decision some common side effects include decreased libido, erectile dysfunction, and breast tenderness. These symptoms can be distressing, but are usually manageable. While these side effects might sound alarming, they only occur in a small percentage of men. Most users do not experience severe issues, and in many cases, these effects disappear on their own or with a change in dosage. Adjusting the dosage can often alleviate the symptoms. It's crucial to discuss any concerns you have with your doctor. Open communication can lead to better management of side effects. 
they can help you weigh the potential benefits against the risks and determine if finasteride is safe for you. Your healthcare provider is your best resource for making this decision. Section 6. Finasteride for everyone? Not so fast. While finasteride can be highly effective in treating hair loss, it's not suitable for everyone. It's important to understand the limitations and risks associated with this medication. For instance, women should not take finasteride, especially pregnant women, as it can cause birth defects in male fetuses. This is a critical warning that cannot be overstated. Men with certain medical conditions, such as liver disease, may also need to avoid finasteride. The medication can exacerbate these conditions, leading to serious health issues. Furthermore, it's essential to understand that finasteride is most effective in treating male pattern baldness. It works by preventing the conversion of testosterone to DHT, a hormone linked to hair loss. It might not be as effective for other types of hair loss, such as alopecia areata or hair loss caused by medical conditions. Each type of hair loss has its own underlying causes and may require different treatments. If you're considering finasteride, it's crucial to have a thorough conversation with your doctor discuss your medical history, current health status, and any concerns you may have. They can assess your individual circumstances, medical history, and hair loss type to determine if finasteride is the right solution for you. Personalized medical advice is key to ensuring the best possible outcome. Section seven, alternatives to finasteride, exploring other options. Finasteride isn't the only player in the hair loss treatment game. Several alternatives exist, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. These alternatives include minoxidil. This topical medication is available over the counter and can be used by both men and women. Hair transplantation. This surgical procedure involves transplanting hair follicles from one part of the body to the balding area. Low-level laser therapy. This non-invasive treatment uses lasers to stimulate hair growth. Your doctor can help you explore these alternatives and determine the best course of action based on your individual needs and preferences. Section eight. Making the call, is finasteride right for you? Deciding whether or not to take finasteride is a personal decision. It requires careful consideration of the potential benefits, risks and alternatives. If you're struggling with hair loss, don't hesitate to seek professional advice. Your doctor can provide personalized guidance based on your unique situation. They can help you weigh the pros and cons address any concerns you may have and determine if finasteride aligns with your hair loss goals. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. With the right information and support, you can make informed decisions about your hair loss and explore the best treatment options available. Section 9. The Future of Hair Loss Hope on the horizon. The dawn of a new era in hair loss treatment is upon us. The field of hair loss treatment is constantly evolving, driven by relentless innovation and scientific breakthroughs. Researchers are tirelessly working to develop new and innovative solutions. From stem cell therapy to gene editing, the possibilities are expanding rapidly the future holds immense promise for those seeking effective and long-lasting solutions. These advancements are not just theoretical, they are becoming a reality. While we've made significant strides in understanding and treating hair loss, the journey is far from over. As research progresses, we can expect even more effective and personalized treatments to emerge, 
tailored to individual needs. These treatments will offer renewed hope to individuals struggling with hair loss, providing solutions that are more effective than ever before. Offering renewed hope to individuals struggling with hair loss. One thing is certain, hair loss doesn't have to be a permanent condition. With ongoing research and advancements in medical technology, the dream of overcoming hair loss is becoming a tangible reality. A future where hair loss is no longer a major concern is well within reach. The horizon is bright and the possibilities are endless. With each passing day, we move closer to a world where hair loss is a thing of the past and hope is on the horizon.